When I was younger, I wasn't raised in a church. As a child, we didn't really ever go to church. We never really had a personal relationship with Christ. So when I looked at the church, I looked at it as a good thing. I wanted to have relationship. I didn't know how to get there and I didn't know how to accept it. So it seemed more of a hard place for me. It seemed like a place that you had to kind of like work or I, I felt like I wasn't capable of being a part of that circle of, of believers. I think it didn't seem welcoming to me and not because anybody personally did anything to me for me to feel that way, um, but it seemed like a perfect place and I knew that I was a very imperfect person. So I just didn't find myself having anywhere to fit in. In the environment of where I came from, I didn't have a lot of understanding of what it really was, but it was a very, it was a standard of holiness. I just felt like we were dealt certain cards and I wasn't a part of that. I had a friend growing up and um, her friend, she was born and raised in the church. She was actually my best friend. Um, she was born and raised in the church and so I guess I compared lives. I seen a mom and a dad and a grandma and a grandpa and it just seemed like a perfect picture. And to me, the appearance of it is they did everything right. I just couldn't see myself. I couldn't see how that looked in my life. I couldn't see my dad wasn't there because he was sick. We had, my family was together but broken because Christ wasn't the, the glue. So August of 2004, I went to work one night and there was a young woman. We really took a liking to one another and did not know too much about each other's background. Through that process, at the end of the conversation, she ended up taking off her wig and showing me that she had stage four breast cancer. She was in remission from it. Um, I began to cry, but when I started crying, she had so much joy. She told me that there was no reason for me to cry and began to witness to me about who God really was. She invited me to our church and two weeks later I went. I had a little bit of a struggle entering in because I had my own thoughts of what it would be like, but I gained this curiosity just to see for myself. And that was her words, see for yourself. Just come, try it for yourself. So I walked into church. To my surprise, it was totally different than what I imagined. It was peaceful. The people were so welcoming. The word came through and God spoke directly to my heart. As he spoke to my heart, I began to look to my left and my right, wondering if she had spoke to her pastor, knowing that she hadn't done it. They had an altar call. I knew that was the line of salvation how I thought in my mind, you get in the line, you're gonna be saved. So don't get in that line because you know you can't live up to the standards of what they're getting in that line to do. And she told me, she said, go for prayer. I got into the line, the pastor greeted me, hugged me, asked me, you know, my background and where I was from and did I wanna, did I wanna receive the Holy Spirit? And immediately my heart just spoke for me and said yes. That same day I was baptized, I gave my life to Christ. And through that journey, from there to now, God has been so consistent. I thought God was a God who wanted me to work for salvation, that I had to be this perfect person, that I couldn't come to Him with who I was, that I had to either have on a costume, or I had to do all this religious um, activity to be somebody different. When I actually came into the knowledge of who He is and I walked in the grace of God, it was totally different than what I could ever imagine. God was so gracious, He was kind, He was patient, and He was willing to accept me for exactly who I was. And He began to give me beauty for ashes. He began to take all of my mess, like broken pieces, and begin to mend them back together again. He began to put them together slowly and show me this pain was for this and that pain was for this. And he began to do an awesome work with my life to allow me to see that he loved me from the beginning. And he said to me that he chose me, that I didn't choose him. And he always pursued me. What I love about Jesus the most is his ability to look past what people can physically see. 
his ability to see, his ability to just transform and take something that looks like nothing and make something great out of it. His ability to father a child, to know that there's so many broken pieces, but, to, but is able to speak life into you and you believe it. That's been the greatest part of, of my walk with Christ is actually seeing him love on me like a father. He is and he, he has been and he still is teaching me how to walk with him each and every day. And I'm enjoying the journey of grace, just learning to apply his principles by faith.